Hello again, welcome to Power3D Tutorials. In this video tutorial, I would like to show you a new functionality of Power3D 4.4, which we just released. And this new function allows you to generate uh, parametric arrays based on the members uh, within another array. For instance, in this, um, this scene, I have created a sort of um, random pattern using these four different modules, which are actually members of another array. So if I open my part ready setting, okay, you're gonna see uh, let's just arrange all that. Okay. You're gonna see a parametric array over here which is connected to another parametric array, and this parametric array contains these four members, which means uh, we're using the members uh, within the child array to generate members within the parent array. So to understand how this function works, I'm going to just delete this par node. Oh, we don't want to keep the members in the scene. And also I would like to um, delete this par node. And I'm going to keep the members because I want to show you how I made them. So we just yes, we're going to keep those. So let's go back to our scene. Okay, what I have here is um, uh, we go down to modifier stack to see how I made these geometries. Um, as you can see, it's just a quad mesh. Uh, you can create a rectangle and make it editable mesh, or you make a plane without segments and make it and then convert it to editable mesh. And then I put an edit poly modifier. It's it's actually not a connect. There's no such a modifier. It's a editable poly modifier which I rename it to the connect. And what I did here, I just picked the two edges, these two edges, this edge and this edge, and then I use connect command to connect those edges. And then I add another um, edit poly modifier. Again, I rename that into chamfer. And I take that edge, I take this edge, and I use chamfer um, function to open the edge. A very important point is in in both modifier you should um, you should set the editable poly mode in um, animate mode. That's very important. So you can just uh, adjust the settings and you can get all the numbers in part ready and so on. So that's how I basically made it. So that you can uh, imagine uh, what is the difference between um, uh, what is the difference between the the first and the second? The second one has got a two edge, um, the, the three edges connected. The other one got the four edges connected, but I just chamfer the three of them. And then here I got the four edge connected and then chamfer all the four edges. So this way I have a three di different geometry, but all their uh, modifier stack is quite similar because they all have a detailed mesh in base and all have two, sa two same modifiers, it's just um, um, two edit poly modifier on top. Uh, this is very essential because uh, once you get these um, into parametric array, if you don't have a similar modifier stack, you're going to end up um, uh, losing some of these parameters. So keep that in mind and then do whatever you like in, in the and the modifiers add as many as you want and but make sure they all have the same number of modifiers all right and now what we need to do is to create a parametric array which contains these four members the way you should do it is like this you need to select one uh, member and then hold the control key and keep selecting the others and this is very important because when you're creating parametric array from the selection it's going to give every element an index which the order that you're selecting the members will define that index so if i have selected this object first uh, this object will receive index one and this one you get index two index one index three and so on so you probably don't want to select them like this because then you don't know which one is the first in your selection so it's always good if you select them in sort of order so you make sure that which one is one and which one is two and so on uh, so since okay so now I'm gonna create the array from these I'll just select part 3d this is my source array and we say create we would like to access these editable mesh vertices 
okay so here is my um, array with these four members now I'm going to create another array just from here from the para parametric array do not press the para button because that option is not available from um, from the toolbar menu it's only available when you create a parametric array from this menu okay um, so you have this option this is new in para 4.4 that you can generate members of this array using the members within some other array so I will check that and then once I check I get two options here which is uh, one is the source which is asking for a para this is where I connect my source array and one is the member index which is actually the index of these uh, members for now I'll just con connect that to my convert controller and I remove the random from here so basically I'm creating a vector from three scalars a one 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 so what happens this array receive an index one 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 and it look to that array and um, look for the op item one 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 which is going to be this one and then it create um, a copy or an instance of it so here we still have to choose between copy and instance so we're gonna say copy because we're gonna change the vertices um, so everything is done but the array is still empty we need to click on regenerate members to get the members um, within this array so we, here we go once you press regenerate you get the default setting for the array it's always 10 1 1 so look at the arrays if I select my member and bring him here as you can see I have 10 objects and all of them are exactly the same as the first object here if I go back here and then set this first scalar component to 2 we're telling this guy that uh, look for the second item uh, in the array and generate all that so you can just click on regenerate and here we can see that the 10 items now are generated based on this option okay we can even do a two-dimensional array so let's add 10 items also here and now if you look at the properties under editable mesh you can see the vertices so I'm going to connect my surface controller back to these um, vertices you can hold the control key and keep connecting all right let's update the surface controller so as you can see all the members are based on the second item within the source array all right so it's all about what numbers you're providing in this channel if it's two it's going to take the second one is it three is going to take the third one and if it's random let's say i'm just going to put putting a random controller here i already have one here I'll just connect to random this random generates numbers between one and five and that number goes to this vector and it tells that our um, uh, parametric array that you ran you choose uh, between one and five uh, sort of random um, object and put it in my array so I'll just say regenerate and now you can see that it's very interesting pattern came up every time I regenerate it's gonna get uh, it's gonna give me a different pattern on the surface uh, you can try all different uh, controller and you can you do your own pattern so let's say you want to have uh, the first row one one the second uh, row you're gonna have the second item and so on so see how this works and we go back here say regenerate so as you can see it opens uh, a lots of possibilities for um, creating different patterns and using different objects within the array so you're not limited to use one object in your array you can have a variety of objects and uh, and here you can control um, 
how these objects uh, from the child array should be populated in the parent array.